Well, hello everybody. A couple of baby pea puffers here eating their daily ration of Daphnia. So that's not what today's video is about. Today we're going to be going over do Daphnia need aeration in the tank? Does it seem to make much of a difference in the reproduction? And do you need to do water changes? in your Daphnia cultures? Well, I have answers to both of those. And again, this is just my experience. Let's, uh, let's get to checking it out. So, I have two of my Daphnia cultures over here. So you can see this one's doing rather well. We've eaten through most of the green water. Also notice in this tank starting to get some detritus worms. For well, this one does get aeration. I do keep it rather low. I turned it down to help the water settle in this tank so you could get a little bit better picture. But uh, typically bubbling not as much as this tank though you can see this has vigorous bubbling there's still plenty of Daphne in here but it's just moving around so fast it's hard to keep an eye on it and you can see that as the green water settles out you end up with this uh, green mulm and eventually that does have to be well should be taken out of the tank and you can see up here from the water splashing this stuff here is a little bit of algae but that's mostly Daphnia eggs and the way that works is the eggs dry on the side of the tank and eventually as I do add more water they get wet again and hatch and start a new spawn or whatever you call it, new culture but yeah here's just an example of two of my tanks or two of my Daphnia cultures. Both of these have aeration. And I do water changes on these. But I do have a third tank back in the breeding room. Let's go check that one out. So this is the tank in my breeding room. This one does not have any aeration and does not get water changes so you can see here when I shine my flashlight in here it is doing very well the one downside to not having aeration is that the green water settles out more quickly and that the um, you get a little bit of a protein film here on the top of the water so with this tank, since I don't do water changes on it, and also while we're here we'll check the temperature. About 70, 72 maybe. So not heated just room temperature the way that I get rid of this protein film on top is I come through every couple of days and just kind of skim off the top and you can see there's plenty of Daphne in there I put that in this tank I have aeration guppies in here eat all that and then the other thing that I do about weekly on this one you can see the difference in between the fresh green water and the spent green water you know there's probably still plenty of food in there but I just like it to be make sure there's 
no absence of food leading to a decline in their population but yeah this is the tank that does not get heated does not have aeration does not get water changes and you know it's a 10 gallon I don't know maybe 7 gallon beta tank of some sort um, by adding that uh, big bowl of cream of green water soup once or twice a week and then constantly removing the protein film from the top of the water this tank just, uh, just keeps plugging away to extra oh, ah, dumb light, there we go extra free source of a lot of food but now back at the other tanks um, I do water changes on those and I'll show you how I do that Let's uh, stand by. All right. So, what I do, there's these fine mesh sock filter socks that they make. I'll put that over my tube. Shove a little bit down in the tube there. And as you can see, I shut off the water to both of these. Let's see. This one here is at about 68 to 69. I don't know if you can see that from there. But anyhow, got a couple squeezes here to get the prime started. And uh, as you can see, the water is kind of clear here. I want it to be more like that. So I use this sock just to try to not to suck up many of the Daphnia. And usually the bucket that I'm draining it into, I'll let it set for a couple days just to make sure. But usually I don't have any life left in there. So brought that one down a ways. Same with this one. And, like I said, this one I do water changes in. That one's going. So it holds a bit more. See the detritus worms on the side there. Yeah, this is boring. Almost done. And you know, definitely I do more than 50%. I've got plenty of green water, so. I don't uh, use it quite liberally. Alright. And then, the sock, I have to pull it. Get it out. A little bit of backflow go through. More green water. off the sock and I go down through the sock just to make sure I'm getting all that ooh, a little messy there pay more attention just trying to make sure all the Daphne are getting dislodged from the silk I'm getting back into the culture in case I miss any just put that in here with these guppies and let them nibble on it for a little bit so yeah I will be refilling this many more times with my green water and I'll in case uh, you haven't been following me and don't know my green water tank let's check out the green water tank and here's my green water tank 
So this makes it easy to refill. I don't know if it's picking up in the camera, but I have hundreds of guppy fry in there. I'm not quite up to the population. I had a crash in this tank um, a few months back and the green water crashed and when the green water crashed the babies were all visible to the couple hundred adult guppies that were in here and they ate all the babies. So now I'm starting to get the population back up now that the green water's able to hide them a little better. <laughs> Guppy's always checking it out. Let's see if I can get one of these, some of these males in this in this green water. Really colorful. Let's see if I can find one. Oh, I'll be in chickens. You may be able to see. Oh, there's a male. Doesn't look like a very pretty one though. But working on purple. I don't know if you can see the purple there. Oh. <laughs> Been mixing blues and reds, and about four years into it, getting purples. But uh, yeah, it's work in progress. But anyhow. That's my green water. That's where I get all the food for my Daphnia. All I have to do is feed this tank um, flake food um, for the guppies and they eat the green water too. So they're definitely all fat and happy. Actually, let me see if I can get you. It's going to be noisy here for a moment. A little earthquake. Yeah, definitely. Definitely some fat and happy guppies in there. One of the healthiest guppies I got. And they keep the green water going, keep the daphnia fed, which keeps my other fish fed, so works out pretty good. But I do want to thank you all for watching. And uh, let me step back over to the pea puffers here so we can end while uh, watching them eat some more Daphnia. Here we go. Oh, they're getting full now, but yeah, um, on the left hand, lower left hand side of the screen, you'll see my food culturing playlist. You'll see the other. Daphnia and vinegar eel and green water and all sorts of stuff being cultured in that playlist. Upper left hand corner, probably one of my newest videos. Thanks for coming in. Um, please like the video if you got anything out of it or if you just feel like being nice. Dix dislike the video if you disliked it. But please leave a comment as to why so I can help improve for the future. And any questions, comments, let me know. That's why I do the videos. Thanks again everyone for watching. Hope you have a very wonderful day.